I'm going to show you some basics on how to use a pressure cooker. It's a great way to cook beans, soups, stews, and even desserts. And it saves on energy and time. This is one style of pressure cooker. It has a heavy gauge pot and a tight fitting lid. This lid has several things on it that are important to know about. This is the pressure release. And this is an uh, indicator that when it has reached pressure, this button will pop up. It also has a quick release valve, so you can turn this manually to release the pressure. And this particular version has a lid that locks. This is the gasket. It goes inside the lid and makes sure that the pressure stays in the pot. It's very flexible, and you need to make sure that it's clean and has no rips or tears. This is how you assemble the pressure cooker. You insert the gasket under these little flanges here, and then line it up and close it. You need to close the steam vent and lock the lid. There are three ways to use the pressure cooker. One is called the natural release method, which just means you let the pot cool off on its own. The second is to move the switch and release all of the steam pressure inside. And the third way is just to take the pot over to the sink and put cold water on it. The amount of time you cook things in a pressure cooker depends on several factors. Your pressure cooker, your altitude, whether you have pre-soaked the beans or grains that you're cooking, and how tender you want everything to be when you're done. I live at 8,500 feet, so I usually have to cook things much longer than most people do. These garbanzo beans, I want them to be very tender, so I'm cooking them for 13 minutes. The recommended time is between 9 and 14 minutes. We have a cooking chart on our website with, that gives ranges of cooking times. So when you're ready to use your pressure cooker, check the chart. If you live at a low altitude, choose the shorter amount of time and try it. You may have to experiment a few times to get it right. I'm going to be cooking some garbanzo beans. I soak them overnight and rinse them really well. And now they're ready to put into the pressure cooker. You need to cover them with water about two inches above the beans. Secure the lid. And make sure that the pressure valve is closed. Lock the lid and then we'll take this to the stove. Turn your burner on to medium high and let it come to pressure. And you'll know it's at pressure when this little yellow button pops up. Set your timer and turn it down to low. Once it's finished cooking, turn off your timer, turn off the heat, and then move the pot off the burner. Now I'm using the natural release method, so I'm just going to let this cool down naturally. And we'll know that the pressure has been released when this little button goes down. All right, it's been about 20 minutes, and you can see that this little yellow button has dropped, which means the pressure is down inside the pressure cooker. It's now safe to open it, so I unlock it, give it a twist, just remove that lid, and inside we have some lovely cooked garbanzo beans.